and of course another job center plus as the joke goes what in the universal credit is this place it's a job center plus oh just interested in the building what not allowed not allowed why is everyone saying not allowed these days but i'm outside i'm not in there Well, let me politely disagree with you and uh, say it is allowed and you're wrong. You're wrong. You're free to leave me alone now. You can go now. You're going to phone the police? You're threatening the police already? Oh, okay. Well, do what you need to do. Phone the SAS. Phone, phone the new king, King Charles. He'll sort me out. And go and, uh, go and tell someone else what to do. You've got no authority out here. Maybe not even in there, but there you go. Yep, we're in Stoke-on-Trent, and this is the exit of the train station. I've come out, and uh, first impressions count for a lot. And there, there's literally no sign to say go left or go right. Um, yeah. Turns out I went out of the wrong exit, had to come back in. A friendly taxi driver said, you got to go through the picket barriers and go underground, so... Here we are, let's, uh, let's get out of Stoke. Sorry, let's get into Stoke. Oh God, there's a new hall. Okay, viewers, it's the real exit here. I've, I've made it, I'm out. And uh, first impressions are not too bad. Directly opposite, we've got the North Stafford Hotel. Uh, thanks, bus. Yep, um, <laughs> yeah, well, you can see half of it. <laughs> here it is, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a clever boy, you see. I'm figuring out we're probably in the Shire of Stafford. Or as the English would say, we're in Staffordshire. And uh, good old uh, Jeremiah Wedgwood, or whatever his name was, born 1730, he is facing the rather pleasant building of, what is it, Stoke-on-Trent train. And we're in 30 frames per second. I, I decided my viewers deserve Another five frames per second. Uh, we're not watching a, a cinema movie here. We're watching real life. So you need more frames. We look at Staffordshire University and then you've got city of Stoke-on-Trent, Sixth Form College right there. And we need to get to the town center, which is down under there. Some building work behind the station and uh, I quite like the little canal. A bit the old Victorian abandonment pity about the major road and this is actually called whoa hello Newcastle Canal there you go Newcastle ca anal so uh, very confusing Stoke Town behind me city center where I've just been at the station we want Stoke Town just a few meters further along it's getting a bit more promising there's a nice church behind these uh, old buildings Old Bank Chambers, which is now Merry Maids, a house cleaning specialist. And we come round Aqueduct Street. Well, we'll, go, we'll have a look at this uh, pillared beauty here, but I uh, just want to have a quick look at the Civic Center. Why not? How does it work? How does it work? You just walk in. Well, there you go. Look. Very pretty. Oh, the mayors. Look at the, let's look at the mayors. You got uh, Councillor Ross Irving. I'm not going to read them all out, but don't they look very fetching? In the nice big gold uh, gold bits. Councillor Dr. Chandra Kaneganti. Good surname. Best smile of the lot. Oh, the Glebe looks all right. It's all right. There's uh, the church called St. Peter ad Vincula. Vincula. Opposite the old entrance to their town hall. And uh, lovely it is. Uh, very nice. You've got even a little bit of cherry blossoms just to get you in the spirit of spring. Very good. The red and black and white sign says, Stoke. All your youth cackling up through this flat history like angry flowers. So I've been in town about 10-15 minutes. It's uh, 10 minutes past 1 p.m. 
it should be heaving with people as it's a lunchtime. But where are they all? I'm probably not in the immediate city center yet, but I see a thing that says markets, and I'm a sucker for markets. Let's go and have a look. First market in Stoke in 1794, they say. So uh, let's do it. We're going to go in the other way. Other oh, way, not allowed? Oh, they're closed anyway now, I think. Are they? That's a way in. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to do some quality tourism here in Stoke, and I'm having no luck. This is the way out anyway. The way out? <laughs> yeah. Is it good in there? I'm making a big film next time of year here. Oh yeah. Film with full screen. Where, where is the immediate town centre? Where is where is the absolute town centre from here? Well, basically, this is all. Well, it's out really the city centre is Anley. Look. <laughs> yeah. So it's not here. Not the Stoke. This used to be the main street through into Fenton. Yeah. I used that used to be a big department store, but now it's all last. 20 years, it's all been run down, run down, run down. Like run down, run down, run down. I'm not having dinner. Good luck, thanks for that. Anyway, cheers. The mystery deepens. Where is the town center? I did read online. Hanley. 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 No, but where's the biggest, like, urban area? Is it Hanley? How do I get there? Uh, well, I'm catching this one. Oh. But there must be something worth looking at in Stoke. Um, I'll go and have a look and I'll check out, what's it called? Hanley. Hanley. Hanley yeah. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Okay. See ya. There you go, guys. Hanley's what we want. Yeah, I can see where I went wrong. I arrived here. I should have followed the signs for the city centre in Hanley. But instead, I'm here in Stoke. How ignorant of me to think that Stoke-on-Trent city centre would be in Stoke. Idiotic, Charlie. Okay, we're not going to stay here long, but this is the immediate town center of Stoke for you to see how run down, run down, run down it is. There's not even a Greggs. There is nothing. Instead of a clock tower in the center, we have a, the Wheat Sheaf Weatherspoons with a collection of alcoholics having a drinky drink at lunchtime. And instead of a clock tower, you've got your fetching CCTV camera pole, keeping an eye on all the yokels, making sure they behave. Oh, the old moped there, that's improved my shot. Moped man, let's get closer to him. Any moped enthusiasts in the comment section? Anyway. Yep, looking a bit run down, but we're here at the Sikh, Sikh temple. Guru Nanak, who said, Sabgo Bindehe, everything is God, there is nothing but God. Utterly based. You got pack pack fried chicken. Opposite pack foods. The word pack is fine. Put an I on the end, and it's uh, not allowed. Okay, Hanley Park, looking promising. Nice little fountain down there. Nice little gatehouse. Some pretty good properties here on Cemetery Road. Cultural quarter, eh? We'll put that name to the test. Wellesley, Wellesley Street. Paler brick than up north. Check out this abandoned bad boy. He's uh, not doing so good. That is the state of British pub. Let's get across the road. Leave me alone, Mercedes. Don't do it. Don't do it, Mercedes. And, uh, yeah. What kind of car is this? I like it. Even on the uh, tire caps, it has dice. Nice. And uh, it's uh, a, a, a Z Zodin, Z Zodiac, Z Z Z something, it says. My viewers will know. My viewers know everything. You guys are the Oracle at Delphi. Shall we fight off the Persians? Nah, I'll be all right. This colorful boy is one Smithfield. It is a job center. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. We're getting towards the center of Hanley. It's not Stoke, it's Hanley. And uh, we're not going to go into the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery. We've had a lot of art on this channel recently. Some big masters. I, I don't want to look at pots. We're going to go up the pedestrian main route, but there's a very ugly building that we have to go and check. That one, yes. The Jovial Foresters Inn is no longer jovial. It's gone sad. And right next to it, Rubber Soul Records. Um, but it's fun in there, but we're, we're getting close to the monstrosity. 
It is nothing but a BT telecoms tower, hence the lack of windows. It's probably full of uh, operators connecting phone lines to uh, other phone lines. Hello, operator. And over there in the brick, you've got telecom house. And it's all behind the fence, but we're not here for that. Let's go and do something else. Okay, let's just be honest. Um, I've, I'm here in the immediate center of Stoke, Stoke-on-Trent region. This is the built-up area, Hanley. And it's the most desolate, deprived, downturned, tragic place I've, I've ever been on my travels in this country. The centerpiece here in Hanley is an abandoned Debenhams with a nice uh, cracked blue tile mosaic on the front. And I'm going to show you guys the worst bit of corporate art I've seen for a long time. Look at it. What's this? What's his name? It used to be the Sparky Man when it was Lewis's. Sparky Man, and what is it now? Is just a... the shop's empty now, Devon. Oh, it's empty. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's the. It the says that man. fire is at the root of all things, both both visible and invisible. Yeah, the Sparky Man. Why does it look like a metal demon about to drag my soul to hell, madam? I don't know. We've all yeah. There you go. Literally, all that remains of Debenhams is a dismembered mannequin. I'm having to reach deep within myself to avoid depression in this town. Oh, thank God, there's a Greg's here. We've traveled far from Stoke Station through Hanley to the city centre and you are here. Focus. Focus. Oh, thank God there's a Nero's here. Oh, I am reassured evidence of uh, some middle class existence. Okay, so it would be unfair to Stoke-on-Trent if we didn't mention that the entire shopping experience here is indoors it's in the mall that's here in Hanley and uh, they've got all the usual suspects Lush, HMV all the other different names but uh, very bizarre how there's nothing outside uh-huh yeah who's that ugly guy oh it's me no smoking or vaping in this area without me nice graffiti Creativity is intelligence having fun. Oh, when Jesus Christ and the waving lucky cats come together, finally, there's peace in the Middle East. Grade two listed church on the end of town. I think I should buy it. I'd buy it if it wasn't in stork. What's up? Tell me about it. What's up? Why? It'll be a mosque next week. A mosque? Yeah, more what, the muzzers? Yeah, more The muzzies? Nah, they... they... <laughs> There's a sign on the side saying that it's up for auction in April. Oh, is it? Grade two listed church, but do you I mean, reckon? Look at it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's a nice building. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go check out the sign. But uh, do you live it's a here? Shame. Do you live I here? Only just started. Not, I haven't been living here long. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> nice one. Take care. Anyone up for an auction? Third of April, 2023, St John's Church, Grade two listed, Butters John B B J B. Wonder how much it'll be. Probably, uh, I'd say, uh, 450,000 pounds. So all the churches are closing because we don't have any charismatic sermons. The priests and all the other clergy, they are bore boring as F-U-C-K. I mean, uh, you probably get a more inspiring Christian sermon on YouTube, if I'm honest. And I wonder how the air is doing here. Are you good air? Good air? No? Good. Okay, we're going to try and check out some... Uh, Abandonment. And the abandonment is there. You got running man, look at that, complete the shot. Oh yeah. This is where we are. Well now, this here is the old uh, nationalist spiritualist church erected in 1860. And it is now the Salahuddin Mosque. The whole complex actually is Salahuddin Mosque and I saw some uh, some of the faithful um, putting their sandals back on, coming out the back. But that's not what we're here for, viewer. We're not here to admire 
prayers of the Islamic faith, we are here to look at falcon pottery and how horrifically abandoned it is and how the punters here have uh, smashed up the security barriers to stop all the masonry and brick and glass falling down upon thy cranium. And uh, unfortunately, I think this is a sign of things to come as uh, business all moves east to China, to India, to the emerging economies. The West has gone mad. We're like, yeah, chop your balls off and uh, don't have kids because that'll really help the economy. But then they're like, oh, it's okay. We'll just bring in a, a trillion people from um, war-torn, angry regions and that'll improve the security for your daughters walking to school. It's a great formula. Thank you, West. Thank you, all the history from ancient Greece all the way to the Victorian era, just to be thrown away by the message and by retards. It's exactly what people like Extinction Rebellion with their slightly fascistic looking Nordic rune want. They want this and I'm, I shouldn't be here. It's barriered off for a reason, but I need to get some shots for my viewers. Like this one here, let's see. Oh shit, the pigeons fly. I honestly thought I was about to die there. Fancy that. Oof, oof, not gonna be here long. Don't stay awake for too long. Don't go to bed. I'll make a ton of bricks fall on your head. You will be stone dead. No pun intended. Okay, viewer, if I didn't have three children, and if I didn't matter, if I didn't have to provide, I would risk my life, as young people do. Um, but uh, not today. We're just gonna have a look inside. I think there's a, yep, there's a Schrodinger's corpse down the end. In fact, there's three at the, in the darkness at the back as well. So um, it's not falling masonry, it's stabby cracky. Now, any of my viewers who have ever stood on a long nail and a plank of wood and had it go deep into their foot will not make that same mistake twice. It hurt a lot, and then the next day, my foot was paralyzed really badly. So uh, we're going to go and explore a bit more for the score. So there's a Salahuddin Mosque, and right next door, you've got the Golden Cup Inn. And it says base only. No treble, base only. <laughs> base only. Uh-huh. And uh, we're on... Upper Huntbach, Upper Huntbach Street, and there's the Hope Centre, which is National Health Service England. How inspiring, a church made to look like a shitty office block, something like from a peep show that Mark would work in. Shitty. What is it, JLB Credit? <laughs> the Reginald and, sorry, Reginald Mitchell pub in this old, old, old building, and the, uh, Favorite bookstore in this country, Waterstones. Very nice. Head post office. I think once upon a time, things were better here in the Stoke-on-Trent conglomeration. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's up there for the most deprived, most uh, depraved, most abandoned, most sad town, city, stroke, urban area I've ever been to. It's an urban area, certainly not an urbane area. The faces of Stoke-on-Trent. Together we make the city. This giant photo mosaic is made up of 3,550 individual photographs. Bus station.
Oh, okay. Uh, not allowed. Well, there you go. But it's okay, we have a police station. Blue Van is uh, trying to get allowed into the complex of the cops. There's a blue sign on the door saying security check, no photos or video, which is wrong. You can go into the lobby. They get stressed. I'm, I'm not into stress today. But you can, you can take videos and photos of a police station. Look at the police trying to steal some of the public love that people have for the fire service by combining it. Combined! Together at last. Let's have a look at some of their logos. Uh-oh, the Fire and Rescue Service logo looks exactly the same as the Staffordshire Police logo, just with a different colored rope. The motto of Staffordshire Police is, give the crackheads enough rope and they'll eventually hang themselves. I didn't come up with it, don't know if I agree with it, but it seems to work for them. Here we go. And they're off. Serious crime here in Stoke-on-Trent. Not allowed on the roof, but uh, this is where they park. Well, there we have it, folks. The most ugly church I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, my darling viewers, that is all from Stoke-on-Trent and its main center, Hanley. <laughs> People screaming. I want to end and say that if you want peace and love, you have the means inside you. Everyone is born with the ability to have the peace that they want. The first thing I'd recommend is to let photon collectors, let people with cameras, go about their lives. You don't need to throw your balls in someone's face and act the big man in front of the low quality women that you may be trying to impress. I cannot believe she actually lied on the phone, bared false witness about me saying I was filming vulnerable people or disabled people or whatever word she used. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. This is Charlie Veach from Hanley Park in the greater Stoke-on-Trent region. Thank you very much for watching. Who am I? Yeah. One sec, one sec, let me check no, something. No, 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 who are you, mate? What, what do you, you mean, who am I? You can't be taking pictures of this building here, mate. Uh, dude, I'm sorry you're wrong, and you shouldn't do this to people. Come what right you, up to them. Do, 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 hey, whoa, whoa, maintain your space, dude. Hey, how about you move whoa, your whoa, 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 dude, you're coming to me. Dude, who are you? Mate, dude, what who are you? Mate, why is your hand in my face for? Why do you, why you need to be 40 centimeters from me? This is, my, this is my building of work. You can't be taking pictures here. Under what law? Maybe I know better than you. Under what law? What is the law? Mate, we have... We have What's the law? We have vulnerable people in here. You cannot be taking pictures of this building. Uh, I'm mate, gonna take another want, step back. Mate, don't follow want, me. Don't follow want, me. If you want, call the police. We'll get them to sort it out. You call the police. I'm not the one trying to tell people what to do. This is my work. And who are you raising your voice up, bro? Who are you coming up to telling me I can't do what, what are you I'm doing? Talking about, bro? Dude, we're on camera. Are you gonna attack me on care? camera? Do you think I care? What, what's with shut the ego? What's with? Oh, don't tell me to shut the shut f up. up don't swear shut at me. Oh what? Dude, relax, what? relax, what, what, relax, what? relax, what? relax. What, mate? Yes, I can, and no, I'm doing it. And I'm doing it. I'm getting no, my snaps, not, mate. and I'm leaving. No, you're not, mate. Because I want to. What's the? Maybe I'm interested in the building. What's it to do with you guys? What's with all the surrounding anyway? What's taking pictures inside? Taking pictures inside. I don't care about the adults that you guys care about. I don't work for your company, do I? So leave me alone. You're all free to walk away. You're on our premises. You need to move. Where, where does your premises end and I'll stand there? Call the right what, there? Go. There. Is that it? There. Yeah, yeah. There, okay. To keep you idiots happy, I'll go here. Dude, I'm not... I'm, look at this, look at this. See that? You guys, all of you. Yeah, you need, you need to watch yourself, my friend. You need to watch yourself because you're not going to come out looking very good, are you? You maybe think I've been videoing the whole time. You, you people are crazy. It's just a corporate building, nothing to do with you or you or you or you or you or even that guy. I don't care about the vulnerable people. I was gonna go away before you guys made the big scene. <laughs> Jeez.
Well, leave me alone then. You're free to walk away. You're free to walk away trying to attack a cameraman. I'm just doing my job. I don't know. He's just taking photos of him. He's really got a problem. No, I'm taking photos of the building and then you guys attacked me. You're, you're, you're literally on the phone to the police. Like this is Soviet Union. Dude, my name's Charlie Veach. Look me up. Not a threat to you. It's just the most excitement you guys have had for years. This is why you're all getting all crazy. You're all going nuts. I don't care if I was taking a picture of the building. No, I'm not. You're a liar, madam, taking photos of the vulnerable people. You're a liar. You're a liar. My name's Charlie Veach. Look me up. Calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Take it easy. Relax. Charlie Veach. Look me up. Yeah, I'm proud of who I am, unlike you guys. I'm proud of who I am, actually. Thank you. Yeah, so why are you trying to stop the guy getting some shots of the building? None of your business. None of your business. It's none of your business. Ugh. Anyway, where are we? Churchill House. Lovely. You guys are great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Can you stop giving me orders when you've got nothing to do with me? Why is this your house, mate? Is it, do you live here? Do you live here? So what are you talking about people's private houses for? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you guys? You're crazy. Oh, crazy. To do an arty video about Stoke. All right, you're free to walk away and get out of the shot. You're free to walk away. Do you know what the law is? You're throwing your, your, your kind of authority around. Tell me what the law is. Tell me what the law is. Oh, am I on private property, am I? See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. All the best. Take care. See you. All the best. See you next week. See you. Take care. See you next Tuesday. All the best.